Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna I'm gonna cover the basics of object-oriented programming in PHP. Many high-level languages such as Java and C++ are solely object-oriented programming. Object-oriented programming makes things simple. You can have abstractions, interfaces, all that jazz to simplify your project in its entirety. This tutorial is just going to it's going to cover the basics uh by creating your first class, uh describing what public, private, protected variables and functions mean, uh, a simple constructor and a way to visually represent your class using the two string method. Uh, okay, I've opened a new PHP document here. I've just I've saved it as my first class.php. It's really simple, but it may take a little little while to understand how everything works together. Uh, let's start off by simply writing our class. So to create a new class in PHP, you simply type the word class and the name of your class. We'll call this my first class. And then you have an open and closing curly brace. Now, um, style, style guidelines will tell you to, to uh, declare your variables at the top of the class. However, in C++, you may be defining your variables at the bottom of the class. Either way, I think it's best to put it at the top of the class in PHP just so you know that they're all there and it's easier to see how they are defined, where they're defined, what uh, visibility they are, whether they're public, private, or protected. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a few, few variables that we can use inside this class. There's three or four ways actually to declare variables inside of a PHP class. The first way you could you type public and then the variable name. So we'll call this one name. You can also do private and this could be the last name. And you could also do protected which can be full name. And then if you you can't you can't just type something like that. You have to at least assign it with a visibility. The last option is using var. Var automatically makes it public publicly visible. So it can be accessed by any object and it can also be modified by any object. For now we're just going to stick with public, private, and protected. Now Inside of classes, you wanna you wanna create methods and functions that you can use to modify your class. Modify whether you're you're getting the data, you're setting the data, you're using the data to perform some operation. Whatever it is, you want to be sure that you're using the right scope um, in this in the way you're creating your methods. So let's create a method inside of my first class here. Uh, standardly, methods are, are public, so you, you don't have to type public in front of it. But if you want to be sure on the visibility, you can type public. And then it's just regular creating PHP functions. So public function, we'll call it do something. And in here, you can do whatever you'd like. You can you can echo hello world for example. Easy. Now how do how do we go about accessing this do something? This do something method we have inside of my first class. Well first thing we need to do, we need to create an instance of the class. So let's create a variable, let's call it our class. You say equals and then you just, to create a, n a new instance of a class, you simply type new, and then the class name. 
You can do that with or without the parentheses, it doesn't matter. Now, how do I access this do something inside of my first class? Well, objects use a pointer to access methods and functions and variables within a class. So, in order to access this, this do something, we type our class and then a pointer, which is just a hyphen and a greater than symbol, and then you call the function do something. So if I go ahead and save this and then run it, it should echo hello world. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and let's talk about this public private protected business we have going on here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. A public variable can be changed by anything. It can be changed within the class from a different class or outside of the class. So if I wanted to type our class and assign something to our public variable name here, you might be wondering, do I do I do pointer with the dollar sign name? No, you don't. It's simply just pointer and then the name of your variable without the dollar sign. And now you can assign it to something so our name could be Marcus. That's my name. And now, when you run this, you're not going to get you're not going to get any output because we're not we're not visualizing any data here. But if we wanted to, we can we can echo out our class name. Go ahead and run it, and it'll tell us that our class's name is Marcus. Awesome. Now, say you wanna you wanna change the last name. Okay, you might be thinking, okay. This one's private, though. A private variable can't be changed outside of the class. It can be changed within the class, or it can be accessed by an, an instance of another class, as if we were doing maybe a copy constructor. So if I tried to run this, it should throw an error. Can't access private property my first class last name. Simple as that. Now, how about full name? Full name can only be changed or accessed within the instance of a class. So if I went and ran it, you can't access the protected property. Okay, now you might be thinking to yourself, how, how do I assign anything to these variables? Well, luckily for us, there is a magic function uh, to construct a new object. This public function underscore underscore construct, whenever we create a new instance of our class, we can, it'll automatically run this function without us having to actually call it. So inside this function, we can say this name. Oh, this is new to you. This is a reserved variable inside of PHP. This is used for objects specifically. When we say this, we refer to the object in itself. So only this object is being changed. So if I wanted to call any variable within my first class, I refer to it with this. And I could also use this to call other methods within the class. So I can say this name, whoops is equal to Marcus. And then I could say this last name is equal to Rec. And then I could say this full name is equal to this name plus a space plus this last name, for instance. And now when I go ahead and create my new class, a new instance of the class on this line here, I can run it. It's not going to do anything, but these variables have been saved. So I can go ahead and echo out our class name now. There we go. But even though the 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 variables have been set, last name and full name are still private and protected respectively. So they can't be accessed outside of the class. That I just tested running last name, and this one I'll test running full name. 
I can't access these. So you may be wondering, how do, how do I access these, these, these private and protected variables? Well, all you need to do, you can, you can create getters for these. So I can say public function get last name, perhaps. And all it is, you just return this last name. So now I could go out and say echo our class, but then I call the method get last name such and so, like that. So now we can echo out rec. Perhaps we wanted to do get full name. And we could return this full name. That's my mistake. Tried to add it. There we go. This full name, Marcus space rec. Awesome. Now perhaps we, we, I got a name change. How am I supposed to set these variables? How am I supposed to change the values that they're associated with if they're private or protected? Well, let's get rid of the getters and let's, let's, let's create some mutators or setters. So I could say set last name and then inside of here we want to we want to put a variable, oops, I forgot function, and we can call this last name, and it's simply just saying this last name, this point to the object itself is equal to our new last name like this. And then if I go ahead and recreate the get last name, okay? Now I'll show you how we can we can work this. So I'll echo out our last name first. And then I'll put a break. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call our class set last name. And then let's set my last name to Roberts. And now if I go ahead and echo out our class get last name again. Oops, I don't need the break. It will change from, you'll see rec first, a break, and then Roberts. It's as simple as that. But because this full name has this name, this last name, only in the, in the constructor, updating last name is not going to update full name. So if we wanted to do that, to change the full name, we can say we would have to change it as well as the last name. So, and we, we would be able to echo it out if we had a getter for that, for that function. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is a visual representation of your class, just so you don't have to use these getters and setters every single time you want to access the data. So what we do, there's a magic method called toString public function underscore underscore two string. It's in camel case, so the S is going to be capitalized in string. And simply, we just return this. We can say first name, and then we call this name, and then perhaps a break, last name, this last name, and then we can add another break and full name this full name and now we have our we have our constructor and we now have our two string method so i can literally just go out and echo our class like this echoing it out is going to call that two string method and it's going to return first name marcus last name rec full name marcus rec that's simply object-oriented programming in PHP. Just the basics, though. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, leave a comment, like it, favorite it, do whatever you want. Uh, school is ending, so I'll be able to start posting more video tutorials. Um, I'll probably be posting more uh, OOP 
tutorials as well. Um, so yeah, I hope hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.